We are here, you guys. We are here. Holy crap, I saw an M car in there. <laughs> Look at some of these beauties. Look at these, you guys. Put my thing over the mic. Look at look at all these guys. Look at all these beauties, you guys. Look at this. This looks nice. Well, 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 well. Look at what we got here. Another meat, you guys. Hmm. Looking nice, you guys. I, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. This is nice. This is very nice. Jaguar F type. Oh yeah. Oh no. No, I'm in car heaven now. I'm in car heaven. Look at that you guys. <clears throat> oh. I'm gonna guess this is a Mercedes S class because any other class would not fit in here. Yep, Mercedes S class. <laughs> so you guys, this is actually a good time to actually talk about some of these cars right here. So contrary to popular belief, Park Immune Scene from Vehicle Virgins actually had had a, an S class. If you guys don't watch Vehicle Virgins, you guys will you guys will know that he actually owned an S class. And actually the S class is actually unlike uh, besides Tesla, the S class is another one of those cars that can actually drive itself. Well not really drive itself, but it can put itself into the um you, you, all you gotta do is click a couple knobs and levers and the car can actually st keep itself in the lane like on the highway or drive it on like normal streets now mercedes did say that they are coming out with like a program so that way you can actually like program your s class to actually drive itself which is absolutely insane like if, if mercedes is able to do that perfectly that would be absolutely beautiful now here comes something guys, I'm, I'm curious about what you guys think. Which one would you rather take? Would you rather take a fun family sedan BMW M3 Lime Rock Edition or would you take a sporty convertible Audi R8? I, I mean to me that's a hard choice but honestly I would have to go with the M3 because yes, the, it, yes it is an Audi R8 but I mean it's not like one of those those cars that's like that's like that I will love like it's not one of those cars that really 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 would catch my love I mean the Audi R8 does, is like one of my favorite supercars but a convertible one I, I don't I can't see that that to me is just no just a no-go look at this you guys holy crap Jer one of my friends would love to see this now contrary to also popular belief you guys I actually am considering buying a, com a Corvette Stingray now you guys are probably asking yourself why would I do that I'm I've always been about the German cars well the fun fact about it is that the Corvette Stingray is actually one of the, the, in my opinion, one of the most reliable of all the other Corvettes. The Grand Sport is like random metal, but the Z06, it's fun, but it has way too many issues that Chevrolet needs to work out. The Stingray is one of those ones that, that it has less power, but it, but it's okay with that less power. It's still a Corvette, and it's still a, a, one amazing machine. And my opinion, this kind of Corvette right here... I would not mind this interior either. Like this right here is amazing. This this is beautiful. I would not mind taking this one off their hands. <laughs> Holy crap. So you guys these Bentley These this Bentley right here is actually very nice. Nice. It's the Continental GT. Now I've actually driven the Continental Super Sport before and that thing was absolutely insane but I've never actually driven a Continental GT but the crazy part about this Continental GT is the fact that, that this one right here normally they have W12 engines in them but this one actually has a, a V8 which is absolutely amazing and for that type of a vehicle I mean 
You can't go wrong with that. You cannot go wrong with a V8 versus a W12. Even though I would love a W12, 12, a V8 sounds a little bit better in my opinion. What do you guys think? Now for the Audi R8 V10, the one I showed you over there, the one I showed you like behind the camera is actually a v V8. This Audi R8 right here is actually the V10, which to me is actually one of the best ones that you can get. This one also, this one typically also has like the sport, the sport wheels that you can only get on the V10. But these wheels, but this Audi R8 also comes with, comes with the automatic transmission and the fact that it is so so gosh darn beautiful i have never in my opinion i've never seen another audi r8 v10 looking so beautiful before this one takes the icing off the kick off the one that's near south point the one at south point yeah it's good and you guys have seen in the videos but this one this one right here is really 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 make has really made my day i love this audi r8 this thing is amazing. Now, for those who don't know what this is, and I'm be surprised if you didn't know, this is actually the Ferrari 458 Italia. One of my, one like one of Mr. Mama's co-workers have actually contacted me and actually told me that he's driven one of these before, and he said that actually these things aren't all that cracked up to be. Yeah, it's a Ferrari and it has a lot of power. Don't get me wrong. He's told me that he got slammed into the back of his seat when he first test drove one of these. But the fact fact is, is that this thing is have some weird, some weird engine problem. I don't know what it is, but like the 458 Italian just really doesn't like being pushed too hard on the like low lows. Like you like if you're like in seven like in like if you're in like six gear and you try to push the Ferrari 458 Italian, it will bog really hard and then it will then shift into like its higher gear. Which to me that's kind of really weird because. This type of that type of vehicle should not have that kind of problem. It, it's a little, hmm, it's a little silly, but what? Well, oh well. This Audi actually comes with the six-speed manual. That's so beautiful. I don't know, guys. That's that 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 does look pretty cool with the convertible top down but I'm, like i said before i will still have to go for the audi v10 right there it just looks too perfect and too beautiful to not really want more than the convertible audi right there i'm sorry just the v10 it, that's that's bay right there that's bay right there check this out you guys this lime rock m3 edition with beautiful uh, nice good beautiful spoiler and my favorite of all bmw's wheels actually is a six speed manual those are actually these right here like the lime rock without the um moon roof and there's also also that has like this beautiful like carbon fiber finish this with the manual is actually very rare it's extremely rare now that i'm thinking about it holy crap and it also has like the carbon fiber spoiler and i believe it has the diffuser as well no it doesn't i thought it did uh, well still a beautiful car nonetheless but if someone if someone were to ask me about what car it would take out of every one of these cars out of all of these cars that you guys are seeing right here what car i would actually take out of all of them that Corvette Stingray. I would have to take the Corvette Stingray out of all of them. Yes, I'm a Beamer fan, fan, and I always will be a Beamer fan. But Chevrolet did an amazing job with the Corvette Stingray, so much so that it has impressed me to the extreme extent. It is so amazing. And one of my boys just rolled up within the um, in, in the Mercedes C-Class. Oh, here we go. Now we. Wow, I was I, I just was in there for like maybe like a couple like several minutes you guys and already this whole place is covered in like amazing cars. So, so why don't we go ahead and go through some of them. Mercedes. Mercedes AMG. Mercedes GT. Mercedes AMG GTS looks absolutely beautiful. Alcantara steering wheel.
Jaguar F-Type convertible. Monstrous Toyota Supra. I've actually I've heard this thing before. Look at that, you guys. Alcantara steering, Alcantara steering wheel with, with the, I believe these are metal paddle shifters finish. Alcantara interior as well. With the app with the with the matching color blue stitching and that beautiful stitching on the seat as well. Oh my goodness. And then we got we got a nice C I think it's the C five Z R one. I believe so. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. We got a Viper GT, which is absolutely beautiful. This is a really old Corvette. I really like this. Beautiful, beautiful Porsche. Honda S2000. A, a CR, a CRT. Woo! Woo! Nice, nice, nice. We got an M. We got an M car that's actually a, this car right here. For those of you guys who don't know about this BMW right here, it's a five series. But this five series is actually a V8, which is which right here was actually really weird for BMW to do for this time period. So it's actually pretty cool. We got a Mercedes with the doors up. Look at that, you guys. I cannot imagine. Imagine, like, you, you parked this at a store, you're definitely going to be getting some attention. <laughs> As an SLS AMG. Oh my goodness. You parked this at a store, you're definitely going to get some attention. <laughs> just just the moment the doors go up. <laughs> Out into interior right there. Mercedes C63 Mercedes C63 AMG my opinion one of the best Mercedes that has ever been made in my opinion at least BMW M5 love it love it love it we got my baby we got the Subaru we got we got a Subaru WRX got, got some more Subies the Subaru WRX some the Porsche squad over there a Chevrolet SS we got a Lotus. We got a Lotus right here. We got another Corvette. Whew. I like what I see, you guys. This is a, to me. This is actually one of the best turnouts of of when it comes to cars that I've seen in a good while. Let's see what we got in he here. Oh. Get ready for me to talk about this one once we see about some more of the other cars in here. And this is going to be interesting. Hello, hello, old but a goodie. Usually the three Jesus. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys. So here I am about to talk about this bad boy right here. So contrary to popular belief. This M6 right he here, BMW made an M6. Now a lot of people know that with the newer M6, with the current M6, but they don't know about it previously. When there was the V10 M5, BMW actually slipped, slipped this car right here in, you know, as a little, I got something for you right there. Here's a little something special. And, and thus, this M6 right here, when first came out, this M6 actually, has a naturally aspirated V10 en engine pushing out the exact same amount of horsepower as the E60 M5. 500 and I believe one horsepower and 485 pound feet of torque. Torque. This thing and 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 with the um and with this car right here, especially with the also with the V10 M5, you have your choices of a six-speed manual transmission. Or a, I believe, a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission, which to me is absolutely pretty amazing. Now, I've actually driven a V10 M5, 
five. And people told me that if you wanted to get the V6, you'll just basically it'll be the exact same thing. You'll be getting basically the the power of the engine and the but I think they said that this one's a little bit slower due to the fact that the M6 is actually well no, I actually think they said the M6 was actually faster. Especially for the fact that since this M6 is actually a two-door instead of a four-door for what they did with the newer one. But this M6 is also rear-wheel drive. This one is not a an all-wheel drive. Unlike with the newer M5s, the newer M5, that one's an all-wheel drive. But the E60 M5, where this one was also with the Nachi Aspirated V10, this one also has as well, actually was also a rear-wheel drive as well. Which is, to me, pretty gosh darn amazing. Especially what the type of engine this car can produce and how crazy and insane this car is so i mean i love i love bm i love bmw bmw has actually surprised me more so when they were like pushing out not your aspirated engines and like not getting all this turbocharged stuff stuff because now with turbochargers you really aren't getting the get that type of like feel of like like instant response because the turbochargers have to wind up and then you will get that that feel hey still a pretty good guy still a pretty good guy love it i love it